the college basketball experience preview and picks episode for Monday, February 12th on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by cut cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in 40 different States. Head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, a sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN uh, to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. Hey, this is Pac Man Jones. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. day in college hoops. I mean, when I say horrible, I had a horrible day in college hoops, but I did uh, have some success in the super bowl. <sighs> chiefs minus two chiefs under 47 and a half. Yeah. Uh, Valdez scan scantling touchdown. Anytime doing pretty good there. Just college basketball though. I ate a bundle of shit. And uh, we're talking all about it. If you're wondering who the hell you listen to, my name is Colby swing at database dad, AKA Pick Don D. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. Nobody knows nothing. Somebody knows. Double the price. But no one touches Dundee. Yes, yes, yes. Super Bowl saved my ass today. Also, one of the puppy bowl. <laughs> Wrong Gatorade color, though. Wrong Gatorade color. Um, I am joined by my co-host. Give it up for former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the Big Twelve College Experience, host of the Ryan and Rush Show. Give it up for Ryan McIntyre, aka Money Line Mac. How you doing, brother? Boom, and let's go, baby. No more football, all college hoops from here on out, baby. Let's fucking go. Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. And uh, Noah Beanick sent us a text. <laughs> this is a great one. Let me, hold on. Let me quote this. This is, this is an all time classic Noah Beanick text message. Uh, hey, guys, but- I have to sober up a little more before leaving my family's party. Can you rock without me tonight? I've had too many wine coolers. Um, I, I respect the honesty. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, what hell of a Super Bowl party there in, in Michigan? Uh how many times do you think they dropped? The Lions would be winning this game, guarantee it. <laughs> Dude, I saw him tweet this. I'm like, get your fucking Detroit Lion bullshit out of here. They don't even deserve to be in the fucking. Like, let's be honest. All right. Uh, <laughs> They, they, they were not one of the better teams in the NFL this year. They had a nice little run. Kudos to them. All right. But the Bobby Lane curse still exists, baby. Um, let's recap though, because out the gate, I was feeling like a, like a million bucks. All right. Because the villain over wildcats absolutely drilled Seton hall. And uh, I thought, Hey, you know, I'm a fucking genius. All right. And uh, no, turns out, uh, yes, I was genius for one game, for one game today. Um, your thoughts on this one? Yeah, uh, kind of Villanova just beat the shit out of them right from the tip. This, th- this was our definitely our best call of the day. I mean, they were this. This was never a doubt. They, they. So this is back-to-back home games where they've rolled here. Providence, Seton Hall, coming down the stretch. I mean, their computer metrics are good. They're going to be a bubble team. I mean, they're 500 in, in Big East play. They got to get a marquee win. Looking at the schedule, Creighton at home is got to be a game that they, 
they got to get. And then I think they got to win one of these road games at Seton Hall and at Providence and then avoid a Georgetown loss because they, they need one more marquee win to really move that needle on the resume, in my opinion, because they got the good non-con uh, resume. They beat Carolina. They beat Texas Tech. So they they, yeah. they, they won at Creighton, um, which I'm still surprised they won at Creighton. But, uh, yeah, good win, Villanova. That's what I mean, but I think Creighton's not as good this year. Is like I thought St. John should have won. I knew Nova did, and I'm like, yes, Creighton's still a good basketball team, but they hadn't looked that as good as I thought they would be coming into the year. If that makes sense. Um, uh, meanwhile, Seton Hall. Let's talk about Seton Hall for a second. They're currently in fourth place in the Big East right now, but their remaining road schedule yeah. at St. John's, at Creighton, at UConn. Whew. You better hope you get the St. John's game. You go zero and three on the road there, and they got to play Nova again at home, Butler again at home, Xavier at home. They, they do end the season with DePaul, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be fun to watch though. Um, They're a bubble so, team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of the way my college basketball day went when I took a shot on Wichita State plus uh, what was it, eight and a half points. Yeah. Hmm. Lose by 13 in overtime. Uh, I mean, this, this is just one where you just say the fuck is that? Shit! <laughs> this shit hit. This was the right side. I quit. Yeah. I fucking quit. I've had so many of these. I feel like I feel like I've had more than normal years Yeah, where, where the game goes to overtime and you just get this shit happens. But uh, did you lock? Did you bet FAU? I did. I ended up betting it, but I'm not bragging about it because it wasn't the right side. Like it, it came down to seven or, or six and a half. And, and that's when I was like, man, I kind of, and we talked about it. it on a Super Bowl Sunday. We wanted to lock every game. I know people were like, why are you guys locking? We don't lock every game all the time, but today was a special occasion where I was like, let's take a stab at all these games on Super Bowl Sunday. So I got I got lucky as fuck. And finally, I was due for I mean I was owed a couple of these because I've been on the dog with you on all these games. So I just nice. feel like overtime specifically with me Kill over the, the past the over dog. the past two weeks. Yeah, it has just been absolutely brutal for me. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I did hit on Penn State against Northwestern, and I didn't even watch much of this game. Uh, Penn State covered the number. Northwestern got the win. Northwestern remains fucking insane at home. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were gonna get this cover, man. Fucking Penn State. I mean, they're seventeen and seven. Yeah, they're dancing, right? There's no, there's no, no, there's no yeah. arguing this, right? They, they, yeah. they, they had to, they had to fucking really get shit going with uh, after the Chicago State loss, but now definitely. So, um. You want to take a crack at this question? Three, five, yes. Seven. Shout out to 357. Uh, hey, Colby and Mac. I, and by the way, folks, youtube.com slash the college experience. You can watch this show. I won big with the Chiefs money line. I have to, uh, I have about 3,200 bankroll. Is betting $100 per game during March Madness a good strategy and money management? I'm new here. Uh, I would not do that personally. It depends how much money you have and how much you want to spend, but I would bet $100 now. Yeah. Uh I I actually think the sharpest those lines will be will be in March Madness. Conference tournament week is always the best week in my opinion to bet, but also I I believe, you know, I'm I know I'm telling you this on a horrible night for me, so <laughs> but uh yeah, I I believe, you know, the value is there now so, still too. So, um yeah. Yeah. I, Do you agree I, with I that? March, I think March Madness is the hardest fucking uh part of the year to bet on it. These games, every game comes down to the fucking spread by a half a point. It feels like so, and you don't know who's going to foul when it's a six and a half point line. Um, who's not going to foul their strategy. Oh, I'm forever still pissed at Leonard Hamilton. What was that? Yeah. That elite eight game where he's just, you know, a oh, five point game. We're not going to foul. Just dribble it out. Just dribble it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, but now's the time. I mean, especially that the final week of the regular season is our best week because of all those senior nights with the home teams, the home teams feast the week before conference tournament. Um, SMU minus five. I went on. Guess what? 
they they kind of. Uh, I mean, my angle was just I thought they were better, but this was kind of anyone's game. What do you think of this one? Uh, I mean, I, I got North Texas. I, I thought North Texas should have won. They they led the entire game, and they then, probably should have. Probably, yeah. Should've. I thought they got yeah. fucked on a couple of calls down the street. Yeah, a couple of weak yeah. I would agree call. to that. I would agree to that. Oh, that's soft. You get that. You get that George Wiss or uh, uh, George Bush whistle in uh in in yeah, Dallas. No doubt. All right. Um, shout out to SMU getting that win. Uh, and then I took uh, Tulane plus what was it eight or nine, whatever it was. It didn't hit. Uh, I eat more shit there. Memphis wins by 12. Memphis is now what? 18 and six. Yeah. I know they don't have a good resume, but still 18 and six. I mean, that Virginia win looks better and better every day for them. That Virginia win is going to get them in. If, if they can avoid, uh, if they can avoid fucking the bad losses, yeah, I would. This was this is one of my better plays of the day. Memphis, I, I they were due to fucking blow somebody out for a change. They got to, um, they got FAU twice. So I mean, there's opportunities to uh, get get that resume going in the right direction headed into March Madness. But they can't drop a. I mean, actually, their schedule is pretty fucking hard down the stretch. North Texas, SMU, Charlotte, FAU twice, UAB, and ECU. <sighs> ECU's their easiest game, technically. Well, well. <laughs> I knew you were going to take it. I mean, on paper. And may the Schwartz be with you. Yeah, there's no way they're running that thing. No um, way. <laughs> nice call, though. Speaking of Charlotte. I laid three and a half with Charlotte. They uh, they only won by three. <laughs> Horrible day by me. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I know you cashed on Temple. You sack of shit. Like How you Temple. doing? Yeah. <laughs> they uh, they're a weird team. They 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 had a they had a wide open three to tie the game. The probably, guy probably got fouled in the end, but he just fucking airballs and they just let uh, Charlotte dribble it out. I was like, good god, this team sucks. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte. You know, I know I uh, said Lamont Paris, me and Terrell were talking on Saturday morning. I was like, he Lamont Paris is running away with coach of the year, but the Charlotte interim coach, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Burn. He's done a great He's job. He's done on fucking believable. And Abdul Rahim at South Florida need to be in that mix too. If you had to do a coach of the year thing, I think those two got to be mentioned. Sunday's wicks at, at green Bay. Yes, yes, yes. 100% yeah. man. 100%. I would also say Kyle Smith. Mm-hmm. Doing a great job. If he yeah. can win back 12, he's got that be would be phenomenal. Yeah. He's got to be in the mix if that happens. Um Rhode Island did cover the big number. Almost one outright little rivalry game against UMass. The only problem for me is the one game I didn't fucking bet. <laughs> Picked it right. But uh, you know, I guess that music's deceiving. I shouldn't have played that. Um I know you wrote UMass here, but you didn't did you bet yeah. this? I did. Well, I bet oh, the ball. Okay. Like I said, yeah. this is this yeah. is a special occasion, Dave. Um, yeah, they UMass got up like sixteen, and then they just took their foot off the gas pedal. They're they're a little inconsistent for me, but they can beat anybody. I'm looking forward to them in Richmond on Wednesday night. Here, this could be that's going to be a good one. That's a great opportunity for UMass to make a statement. Yeah. Then I also got cute with the uh, Tulsa Golden Hurricane. I thought that I, th- I actually thought this was the smartest play of the day. Uh, but you know, there are moments where pick Dundee is a complete fucking dumbass. All right. Because UAB wins by seven. Tulsa had a halftime lead and I was sitting there <laughs> bragging. Covered. Yeah. 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 Uh, UAB big win for UAB there. Uh, then the night just got horrible for me from here. Of course, uh, Minnesota blows like what a 15 point lead. Was it, what was that lead? 18 something insane like that. Minnesota was up 18. Actually, no, they're up 20. And they lost by five, but they still covered. Yeah, fucking Iowa went on like a 25 to two run. And I mean, somehow we almost covered this. Like, this would have been a miracle that if they were. If you're down- a Minnesota fan, though, you are vomiting today because, like, you're up 20 in Iowa City. You're up, like, what, 14 or 15 and a half time, I feel like. You, this is one you needed to get. If you wanted any chance to me in the postseason, this is when you needed to steal. Uh, we didn't hit there. And then I actually thought this was my favorite play of the day besides Tulsa. I mean, Tulsa was probably second. I thought Bowling Green had a chance today. 
Uh, they went down to Lafayette, Louisiana, and you know I've been to the great state of Louisiana multiple times, a shit ton of times actually. It's hard to stay sober there, so my only conclusion with Bowling Green just getting fucking destroyed by twenty six points is that they must have been, you know, you don't just fly into Lafayette. You got to stop and you got. I bet you they were in oh, New, Orleans, New Orleans. I bet you they were in New Orleans the night before. I bet yeah. you the night before they were in New Orleans, they took a bus. Unfucking believable though. Twenty six point loss. I I honestly felt great about that game, and I I got nothing. I wish I had an excuse, but that that. What what'd you think of that one? Yeah, no, you 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 swayed me on this one, but I liked it. I I, I liked the angle that you presented. Um, they got fucking drilled. Dude, what they just the didn't fuck? show up. They just did what not the show up. They just did on, not show up green. from the start. Um, and then this one, this one's almost more of a head scratcher than Bowling Green because. Well, well, I don't get, I get a break. one thing I can count on over the years. Really, I feel like for like 20 years is that Northern Iowa is going to be decent every year at the end, too. Yeah, UIC beats Northern Iowa by six, and then like they kind of led the whole game. Yeah, I was by like 12 early I was on, shocked by this fucking result. Yeah, I got my ass, my ass completely kicked. Hold on, I got, I got something for that. Um, here we go. Uh, coaching, our, we're all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Okay. You can't win. Uh, <laughs> shout out it. to Pure Ruckus TV. Let's go, boys. Love the show. Um, yeah, I didn't have a good night at all. I had a fucking horrible night, actually. Long that season. Was, yeah. Thank you, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I'll say that. Thank you, Kansas City Chiefs, for a minute there. I thought that was shit. Whew. It's a fun Super Bowl, I thought. I don't know. Everyone was talking shit about it. How good How good is he? He's just uh, big play after big play. It's, I, I I thought they were dead, too. I was like, oh, wow, they're finally going to lose. And then Mahomes just. Dude, I, I knew when Purdy couldn't get that. Uh, they couldn't get seven on that drive. I'm like, you don't. Overtime, yeah. You don't. Oh, you mean? Are you talking prior to that? Maybe. Yeah. Um. But I just knew when, when you couldn't get that seven, you're fucked. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like Andy Reid and and Mahomes together. Yeah. It's too good of play calling. And and I know I did a little tweet. Shout out to Mike Leach because they were calling a lot of his plays today, man. Mm-hmm. A lot. I saw about seven or eight Mike Leach plays. Uh, rest in peace to our friend Mike Leach. Um, he'd be happy. He'd be happy. Um, all right, let's get to tomorrow's slate. But before we do that, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by good old DraftKings Sportsbook. Yeah. Um, look, I, I, I'm reading an ad. Our our contract with them runs out tomorrow. I mean, they might re up with us, but I'm saying the the commercial that I'm reading is, is for super bowl 58. That's over. But I can tell you this DraftKings is awesome and they kick ass. All right. And uh, if you, if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, now use the promo code SGP new customers can bet five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook, uh, an official betting partner of the national football league and so many other sports. Use that promo code SGP. The crowd is yours. Gambling problem? Call one hundred gambler or visit or in uh, West Virginia. Visit www.100gambler.net in New York. Call eight seven 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 eight Hope and Y or text Hope and Y in Connecticut. Helps available for problem gambling. Call eight 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 seven eight nine seventy seven seventy seven or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, twenty one H plus varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire one hundred sixty eight after issue. And cdkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Look, Underdog Fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite, favorite your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NFL, NBA, NHL, college football, and college basketball. Noah's been writing great articles about this and. You really want to find an edge that you can't find elsewhere with college hoops. I, I, we get paid to say I'll do. I was reading dick pills for a long time. All right, like, you know, I, I don't want to shit on their product, but I'm saying I didn't. I had to read it. I, I, I really endorse underdog fantasy. I think it's awesome. I think it's one of the better things you can do, uh, as far as like co- looking for 
looking for shit that you won't find elsewhere. Prop wise. Um, anyway, simply pick higher, or lower in your favorite players, fantasy stats and cash in. You can win a hundred times the amount of money. You enter some of their spicy, spicy plays. So what are you doing? Watch along, make picks, make some extra cash on underdogs, mobile app or website, underdog fantasy.com. And when you sign up, sign up with the promo code TCE SGP and underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. That's underdog fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. All right. We are back on the college basketball experience. And uh, the slate, not, not fantastic, but we'll take it. No day games. Unfortunately, do you want to do game balls real quick from Sunday? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, I always forget that. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I fuck up structure nonstop. Um, <laughs> Uh, Villanova is the easy game ball for me. They needed that. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was, was supposed to win the game, but the way that they, they won the game fighting back from what down 18 in the second half, they needed this game. I, I obviously, I don't think I was going to the NCAA tournament or anything, but, um, to stay in the middle of the pack in the big 10, good win, Iowa Hawkeyes. Yes, and um, who is the most worthy? I mean, you, I see. I know. I I don't think you're any good, but you beat a quality program. Maybe you can build on it. Maybe you can build on it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my second game ball. Who's your second? Uh, Rage and Cajuns. <laughs> I mean, they beat yeah. the fuck out of kicking. Three. Yeah. Complete ass kicking yeah, game ball. Uh, my third game ball will be Northwestern just because <laughs> I know your favorite. You didn't cover, but I don't give a shit. Chris Collins deserves all the credit in the world. Um, the, to have the program rolling the way, it, the way it is despite, and to have them not digging, digging up uh, flying squirrels on you. I think, uh, I think it's remarkable. All right. Whatever you're doing, you're doing, you're doing well. So Northwestern final game ball. Where are you going? Charlotte. I, I, I know they didn't cover and people are pissed in the chat, but I mean, you look at what Charlotte's done 15 and eight, um, what nine and two in league play interim coach. Unbelievable. Aaron, Aaron Fern. I mean, that doing a great job doing it. It's about to get a lifetime contract. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get to tomorrow's action. All right. It's division one football. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's but division one basketball. Um, Alabama state is at Southern. Southern is laying four and a half points. Alabama state's three and nine on the road. Southern's nine and zero at home. Why is the fuck is this line so short? I will take Southern though. What are you doing here? Yeah, no, I was looking at this game. I had the circle that reeks Alabama state's two back of first of Southern. I think they got a chance to win this game outright. So short slate, give me Alabama State and the Hornets. Lock it up, baby. <laughs> Lead it off with a bang to start the week. Southern's won five straight. I can't, I can't, I can't lock that. In fact, I'm taking Southern. I'm taking Southern because I believe they're better. It's no lock for me, though. No lock for me. Lehigh travels to Bucknell. Something's got to give here. I mean, uh, the CBS sports covering this game nationally televised. Um, Bucknell's laid one and a half. It's an interesting spot because you have uh, Lehigh in sixth in the Patriot league. Bucknell currently in fourth, mm -hmm. but Bucknell has been ass at home, but Lehigh has been horrible on the road. Something's got to give here. Give me Bucknell just because Lehigh won uh, the other day uh, in, in overtime against their heated rivals Lafayette. Double overtime, I believe. Um, it's a letdown game. Bucknell wins, and I actually could be talking to a lock here. No, I'm on. I'm on Lehigh, man. Uh, they played what earlier in the conference play, and I thought Le Lehigh led for a majority of the game. Bucknell stole the game on their home court. I think they returned the favor here, and I don't have a lot of locks, but I had the first two circled. Lehigh, baby, lock <laughs> Dude, it you up. You realize Lehigh Lafayette is like a gigantic deal at the university. But Le Lehigh and Bucknell don't like each other either. I know, but it ain't it ain't like Lehigh Lafayette, man. Yeah, but I also think Bucknell's way overrated too. No, I I have no feeling on Bucknell. I think they're just a team that sucks. But um, all right, 
There you go. Lock up your mountain hawks. Now I will lock this one. Duke is laying seven and a half. This gone up. This gone up a point in the past uh, hour against Wake Forest. I'm locking up Duke minus seven and a half. Um, Wake Forest is ass on the road. They're two and five. I think Duke's gonna put it on them. What are you doing here? I'm with you. I'll join you on this one. I like the Dukies at home. Wake's not good on the road. Duke pulls away late. Let's go. Lamar. I mean, Lamar was pretty solid this year. Shout out to them. 13 and 10. They're at I dub incarnate word. Incarnate word was playing a lot better. And then they've uh, gone two and 10 or sorry, two and eight in their last 10. Uh, now it's interesting because Lamar is one and nine on the road. So I will ride with the points in I dub, but this is no luck. What are you doing here? Yeah, I got. I'm a, I'll take the incarnate word. Um, I, I I think this line kind of stinks too. It's a little short. It feels like Texas A&M Corpus Christi is laying two and a half at Nichols. These teams are both pretty good. Um, at the Stouffer Gym, I'm on Nichols because uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi has just played McNeese, and I think that's a that's a heartbreak game. Mm-hmm. And I think Nichols is in the mix too for winning or, you know, for, for, for second place in this conference, you saw them beat LSU at LSU. Nichols is uh what? Seven and one at home this year. They're coming yeah. off a loss. I got, I got Nichols, the colonels, you know, grabbing them, taking them. What are you doing here? Should we lock Nichols? I could be I would, talking to that. I, I mean, I like the spot. Like, like you said, um, Against Corpus Christi, these two teams don't really like they, each and other. They just played. I think like on my, I think it was on my birthday. They played like some, some like oh, maybe two uh, weeks ago. Three yeah, weeks ago? And, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. Corpus Christi won by ten. Um, yeah, Nichols also coming off the twenty point loss to Lamar. They played like shit. They had been rolling a slight step back. I like Nichols here. Let's go. I'll lock this one. I like Nichols. give me them Colonels. Lock it up. Nichols getting two and a half at home. Just ride that money line. Home dog, man. I love it. Uh, and I'll keep the locks going because the privateers of New Orleans are heading to uh, Natchitoches, whatever the fuck, Nagato. Where the fuck is Northwestern State again? It's uh, oh, um, Natchitoches, Nagatoches, Natoches or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Naga, Naga, not gonna work here anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the name of the fucking town, but it's in Louisiana. And they are going to, uh, they're going to win. The blue demons are better than new Orleans. I will lay the two and a half with the, uh, with uh, they're just the demons, not the blue demons, the demons of Northwestern state. What are you doing here? So they just played a couple weeks ago. Northwestern state won won uh, at new Orleans. I'm worried about them if they can make it back to back. I'll I'll just take Northwestern State, but I don't have a really good feel on this one. You know, New Orleans is one and twelve on the road. Yeah, but I feel like this is the time. This is the time of year that teams find a way to start winning some road games. Uh, not New Orleans. Uh, let's go with Northwestern State. I, that's a Dundee special. Lock that thing up, and yeah. I will. Let's keep these locks going, flowing. Bethune Cookman's laying one and a half against Texas Southern. Reggie Theus, I salute you. Former Jerry Tarkanian shooting guard down there at UNLV, the run of reps. You watch him every game. I do. And they hit like 90% of the fucking time. And I had his starting lineup, I believe, on the Atlanta Hawks at one point. Uh, it would be great if my mother didn't just throw out all my shit after I moved uh, out into the world because I had a lot of cool shit back in the day. Um, I think there's still some out there floating around. I got to find it. But uh, I will lock up with Thune Cookman. What are you doing here? Uh, I I lean to Bethune Cookman, but I'm not gonna. I don't trust Bethune Cookman, especially with their leg voids. Why? They're good. They're gonna win the conference, I think. But I love Texas Southern too. Texas Southern is not the same Texas Southern. You said that they won four in a row. Dude, they, they needed overtime to beat Florida. A&M. I know. I know. Actually. I kind of want to bet Bethune off that. Yeah, they've won four in a row. They just came off an overtime game. I'll join you on this spot. I like this spot. Ah, there we go. 
Oh, I got a loss. There we go. By the way, there's way too many Wildcats in college basketball. You unoriginal fucking losers. All right. Every, Wildcats. Just yeah. so stupid. You know, there's a lot of fucking animals out there. We never use our animals. Bothers me. Not even animals. You can use people. Animals, they're just, just there's no cre- creative shit going on. Um, McNeese is laying 18 at Houston Christian, and I actually think we should lock up McNeese. Um, I, I, well, why? <laughs> What's your logic? I, it's just such a big number. I just feel like Houston Christian is ass. I know. <laughs> But they burn I us. Feel like, you know, I, every time I've watched them, I go, I know. <laughs> "This team sucks." But all right, I'll back away. Maybe uh, check the picks page. Picks I'm, page. I'm definitely not taking Houston Christian. Uh, what are you doing here? I'll take the home dog. Give me 19. Come on. <laughs> uh, I see 18, but I mean, if you're getting 19, Ooh, sharp action. Bring, bring yeah, it up. Get it on that. 19 to 18 on the fucking Houston Christian guys. <laughs> The West Virginia Mountaineers are in Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, Take it on TCU. TCU is laying 12 and a half. Look, I think I should. I think we should take West Virginia. Oh, God, don't. I think we should take West. It's just a little bit too. It's like a sleepy spot. You got TCU taking on the team in 13th in the big 12. Yeah. I just feel like TCU is going to be asleep at the wheel a little bit. I know they're 10 and two at home. Give What's, me dub uh, V TCU I, wins by eight. Yeah, who's uh? What's the chat got going on? If 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 the chat's in love with TCU, that's when we take West Virginia. I just the home team wins this game. I mean, TCU has never won in Morgantown. We've had a lot of uh, struggles in Fort Worth, but I think we can keep it within striking distance. Um, yeah, take the thirteen. What do you want to lock it? Is that what you're saying? I mean, there's not many games. I'm gonna yeah. watch it, so I might as well have action on it, right? Let's go. Let's go back to the <laughs> Can't quit it. Nobody does that. Morgantown, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Up right back in. Good old Morgantown. Morgantown WP. Uh, Bring us up on the money line. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Let's go. I got a few other locks that I feel I'm right about. And one of them is right here because I think Texas A&M Commerce is absolutely fucking horrible. Sela is laying one and a half. Give me Sela minus one and a half. What are you doing here? I'm with you, man. I I, I think the Lions are starting to roll. I think they're the second best team in this league. Lock it up. Give me the Lions. Let's go. Jackson State's catch a one and a half at APB. What are you going to do here? These are your darlings. Give me Jackson State. I refuse to believe that they're. I will take Jackson State. Lock it up. Lock it up. Let's go. Um, what are you doing I- here? I, I, I do agree with you that I think they are they are better even though they have completely just jobbed. It's just looking at the SWAC standings, what Jackson State five and five, APB five and five as well. But I think Jackson State's better than the record. I know I say that every week. Uh I'll join you here. Let's go. <laughs> Jackson State lock it up. Let's go. Let's go. It's a brand new day. New week. Alabama A and M's catching eight and a half at Grambling. I took the points, but I will not bet this game. Same. I took the points. Yep. Alcorn State is laying ten and a half at Mississippi Valley State. <laughs> Mississippi Valley's covered two in a row. Did you see that? Yeah, let's let's take Alcorn. They there's no way they're gonna cover three in a row. I was thinking Alcorn might be fringe yeah. a lot. They might win by thirty. Give me, give me all corn. I'm not yeah. locking it. Yeah, but. yeah. You, you never know. They could backdoor it. Uh, but yeah, lay it. Hey, shout out to Nick in the chat. Nick just gave us fifty bucks. Oh. That means we're fifty bucks away from unlocking twenty uh, percent off in the store. Uh, appreciate you, Nick, man. He says, "Let's fucking go enjoy the show." YouTube.com/slash/the college experience. Nick, I, I, we really thank you. Um, 
I mean, I don't know how many times I got to beat a dead horse here, but I'm saying like we're independent. Anything you can help. I mean, your ears and your eye, you know, ears and eyes are always the best thing that can help. And obviously, you know, donations are, it really fucking helps us, you know? And uh and I promise you Noah will not be drinking wine coolers next time. Um <laughs> uh thank you, Nick. Um where are we at here? Prairie Views laying one and a half at Florida A and M. Have you have you watched Florida A and M lately? Yeah, and I'm ready to fade the hell out of them. I'm locked. I think up we Prairie. should lock. Up. Yes, yes, yes. They're off the overtime. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Prairie View. PV baby. Shout out to my guy Bubba McDowell, uh, football coach, great guy. Um, Elon is catching twelve and a half at Towson. CBS Sports nationally televised game. Such a random game on a Monday night. I'm taking the points. I was trying to convince myself to uh, to bet this, but uh, I haven't yet. Picks page. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll lean to the points. I think it's a tad high for Towson. Towson is off back-to-back losses, so they're going to get it done. I, I just think it's a little tad high. I'm not betting this either. Final game on the slate. Kansas Jayhawks go into Lubbock. Texas Tech's laying two and a half. You know, I didn't bet this game yet. I bet every other game, I think, unless you talk. No, I didn't bet West Virginia yet. But a lot of the other games we talked about, I bet. Not ready. I didn't bet this game, but you can talk me into. I'm taking Kansas. You can talk me into betting Kansas. Not for me. I I okay. I, I don't trust Kansas on the road. I, I'm locking Texas Tech. I I think, and I'm interested to see maybe Mahomes is at this game because last year I think he went to the game after the Super Bowl as well. Great big Monday. That place is going to be on fire. Um. I got I got my Texas Tech shirt on Gambling Gaucho. Shout out to them. Um, guns oh, up, baby. Yeah. They're gonna get it fucking done tomorrow night. I'm locking it up. Texas Tech gets this done, pulls away late against Kansas. Four men up, please. Money line, Mac, locking it up. Texas Tech minus two and a half. I'm taking Kansas. I don't think I'm gonna bet this, but maybe tomorrow. If, you know, but that's by the time you're getting close to that 6 p.m. Pacific window, I might jump on Kansas. But yeah. No battle as of right now, but we might battle there. Uh, folks, that's our show. <laughs> uh, my top play of the night. Honestly, I think it's Sela. I think Sela at Commerce. I think Commerce is a bad basketball team. I think Sela is way better. So I think the best play you can do is lay the one and a half with Sela. What is your top play of the night, Mac? Guns up, baby. Lubbock's in West Texas is going to be on fire tomorrow night. Down go the Jayhawks back to back weeks. Texas Tech by seven. Let's fucking go. I know we're only 38 minutes into this, but let's give away our second favorites. All All right. right. My second favorite. My second favorite is Northwestern State. Northwestern state minus two and a half against new Orleans. What is your second favorite? My second favorite. Mine might be Prairie view, man. I'd I like to, I like the Prairie view spot fam. You off the overtime loss. I mean, I yeah. like PV is a better basketball team than fucking fam. You, I know fam. You has been everybody's <laughs> that's had fam. You recently has won, but it, that shit's going to run out PV baby. Uh, Julio's favorite three are TCU, Wake Forest, and Texas Tech. Good luck, brother. Um, yeah, that's our show, folks. Noah Beanick is uh, not here, but give him a follow. Maybe you recommend a alcoholic beverage, a step up from a wine cooler. He's on Twitter at NoahB77 underscore. Let him know your thoughts on his drinking uh, experience. Um, Moneyline Mac is on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. Uh, give him a follow. He just subscribe to the Big Twelve experience, man. These fucking games are fire. Kansas at Texas Tech tomorrow. Cannot wait. West Virginia at TCU. It's gonna be a lot of fun watching those. Uh, I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. Subscribe, tell a friend. Remember YouTube.com/slash The College Experience. You can watch this every single night of the season and in the off season. 
And also on Twitter, uh, follow us TCE on SGPN, the college basketball experience. Yes. At TCE on SGPN. Uh, yeah. Cannabis cappers, right? A step up from a wine cooler, literally anything. He's right. He's right. I mean, you can, you can really anything, uh, but Hey, n- knows his own man. And uh, he loves that Mandarin wine cooler. Um, <laughs> we appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, excited for the rest of the season. It, things are getting, they're heating up. I was looking at Saturday's schedule. They're heating up and uh, oh, I can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. Um, until next time, f- uh, check out the sports gambling podcast. They're going to be live on VEASAN in the wee hours of the night over the next four or five days doing their show all night. Uh, you might see pick Dundee there. You might see money line Mac there. So what are you doing? Check it out. VEASAN V S I N that network. I think you'll dig it. Uh, and uh, yeah, college football experience break it. We just broke down the ACC conference 2024 schedule. Go listen to that. We already have the sec and big 10 out there. Uh, we got the big 12 scheduled for this week. And uh, the FCS college football experience. We've gone through all the coaching changes in the FCS there. Uh, go check out that. We got the college baseball experience. Their season starts in like four or five days. Uh, we already dropped an SEC preview, an ACC preview. They did a fantasy draft. We talked about win totals within the SEC. Go check all that shit out. It's there for you. Check out the bottom line bonds with my guy, CJ Sullivan. I know we haven't done an episode in a little bit. Uh, he was sick. He was in, he was actually in the hospital a little bit. And then I was, I was, uh, you know, my wife gave birth. So that has been a hard episode to schedule that is coming back soon though. You have my word there. Um, all right, folks, I'm trying to find a special song. I found it until next time. This is the college basketball experience. We appreciate you rocking with us. Uh, and we'll be back tomorrow night. So buckle up. You better start thinking about yours. And we are out of here. If you see him on the street, then tip your hat his way. You'll know just where he's headed and which game he's gonna play. He's a sharp shooting gunman and always aiming high. He'll win any gunfight, his limit is the sky. We're the gun. Slingers from Seven Tone. We're the gun slingers on the road or at home. Remember the Alamo for such as we are known. We're the gun slingers from Seven Tone. When we're away, we do win our job. We're keeping law and order at home and abroad. Gamblers and outlaws, you better step aside. Our motto is to shoot them up and bring them back alive. We're the gun slingers from San Antonio. We're the gun slingers on the road or at